Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to those of you who are new to our channel. Today, we are blessed to have the wonderful medium, uh, Raylene Nuanis, here to channel aliens and to my son, Eric. How are you, Raylene, and how's my boy doing? Hi, Eric. Hello. Hi, Lisa. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How are you? Good. And I forgot to say, her uh, Raylene's information is in the description box. So be sure you click on her site that Paula's going to put in there. All right. So you want to get started with the questions, Eric? And Eric, Eric, Tall White Eric. Adrian. Right. Can we get to, Can you get Tall White Adrian in, Eric? Yes. He says, hello, Mama. And he misses you very much. Mm -hmm. He's telling everybody hi and thank you. Um, he's got his microphone on and he's like, thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, uh, it reminds me of like, Elvis, his <laughs> whole thing that Elvis does. He's imitating that. <laughs> oh. All right. So is, do you see Tall White Adrian? Yes. So there's four different beings that are here with him. Um, the one that you're asking about is coming through first. He's got colorful eyes, like very bright. Um, it looks bluish, yellowish combined together. Yeah. Um, but they're extremely bright. Okay. Uh, thank you, Adrian. I just call you, I don't have to call you tall white, Adrian. Adrian, thank you for also being on the divine team and helping me with the scalar work to heal people. I really appreciate that from you. Um, he's laughing at your, your comment about his name. And he likes the fact that you connect him with tall. Um, he's got a lot of um, pride when it comes to the way he looks. Mm -hmm. And so he, he actually enjoys it. He says, you're welcome. He's very honored to help you with your healing journey. He's connected to a number of different type of healing modalities. Um, one of them is obviously scalar, but he's showing plant remedies. Um, oh, yeah, cool. Bach flower, essential oils, um, just nature, being outside in nature. He, he helps quite a bit in this whole area. That's awesome. So we have a lot of questions for you. First, yeah, Paula, uh, my the one doing the documentary and the one who um, manages my YouTube channel um, and helps me out. She saw a UFO yesterday, and there was like this silvery, this shiny cube slash sphere. Okay, and Michelle Gray said, "Yes, those were aliens." What kind of alien race was that, and why did they visit Paula? Let me tell Michelle not to keep missing me. They're, they're tall grays, and they weren't visiting her specifically. Um, she was not the agenda of coming in. She was more of like a standby or that happened to be a witness. Um, they don't have benevolent energy. Oh, no. So they're, they're not coming for positive reasons. Okay. Right. Okay, well, and I want to thank you also because I understand that when I was um, almost about to die 17 hours in the tundra, scantily clad, you uh, uploaded me to your mothership and, you know, helped me. So I really want to appreciate it. You know, I guess that's true still. Right? Yes. Okay. So he said, you're, you're welcome. He has a contract with you. This really? was something that and a contract on me no i'm kidding what kind of contract uh, with me he has a really good sense of humor he's going like this like oh no <laughs> with you. um a contract in helping you to heal personally and then helping the environment to heal oh nice he's doing it with you that's great all right th thank you i need all the help i can get all right, here's the first question. Adrian, are UFOs actually visiting Earth in large numbers or are most of them reverse engineered by humans? No, they're not reverse engineered by human. A very small percentage is. 
90% is UFO, a very large sighting of them. Um, even even um, UFOs that are not being seen, there's a very large amount of them that are coming in. And there's also aliens that are housed here on Earth. Yeah. You know, it's amazing that it's in the news all the time. Somebody cited this. There was one guy who saw who encountered an eight foot tall alien in Las Vegas. And it was fake, but was it was it really fake? Was that really an alien that he saw, Adrian? Yes. Wow. The story is real. Oh my god. Or what about the photograph? No. So there's a lot of photographs that are fake, but there is a photograph that is real. But what's surfacing, he's saying um, no to what's surfacing internet. Why not? Why are they keeping the real photograph from being published online? Yes. Who's they? Mid and black government, you guys? So it's a mix of both. Um, Humans, he's not saying government are men in black, although he is smiling at your comments. Um, and then also the race that was seen, it was not intended. It was an accident that happened. No. Um, fortunately, this ended very good for the beings that did crash in terms of um, exploding like their presence, yeah. exploiting, right, exploding their presence. And um also the people that were involved in in viewing the accident. And so um, it's it's being done for protection of two different two different races on both sides. Okay. Are they allowing themselves to be seen more or is it just an accident? Why 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 all this these sightings and stuff? Eric is over here being Eric. Mm-hmm. He's being, He's making um, music sound like what sci-fi music and like oh yeah, uh, you know the the X Files. I don't even know if that show still plays, but he's over here playing that music. No, and so I don't um, he's distracting me. Yeah, <laughs> and awesome. even, so they do want to show themselves more. Not all of them. Um, he's talking for a vast majority of extraterrestrial beings that do want to present themselves to humans more. Um, and these are going to be the beings that have positive intentions. They are good people, um, good entities that want to bring a change to the environment. The majority of them are not concerned about humans. They're concerned about the planet yeah. um, because it plays a a huge role in keeping the solar system healthy. And so, um, yes, they do want to show themselves more. Government is preventing that from being experienced. Yeah. Eric is explaining it's all about control and um, the government is putting titles of like fear, you know, thinking that it's going to cause mental issues with a lot of people and that the government doesn't want to deal with that aspect of thinking right now. And so um, Eric is saying it's not true. It's not going to cause that type of problem. There will be obviously some discomfort, but um, mental problems won't be a a factor of them coming out and being out in the open. Is that because the aliens are putting their juju out there to help Calm, assuage our fears and calm our energy? Yes. Okay. Um, so this, this, these tall grays that visited that, um, Paula saw this, you know, and they, well, didn't see the, them, but saw their ship. What were they there for? What, what's their raison d'etre? Their agenda. Peeping toms, looking to see what human are doing, um, looking to see what animals are doing, looking to see if there's anything that they would like to take. Okay. Hunting expedition, I guess, huh? Okay. Yeah. 
were they, I'm not sure who they're talking about, um, in a battle and landed on Earth? I mean, I don't know if that was the one in Brazil they're talking about, but, well, or any of them crashing because of a battle they're in. No. Okay. Are there activities that we as individuals do, whether intentionally or not, that puts us on their radar? Yes. Tell me about that. Uh, inviting them, asking for an encounter, asking for proof of extraterrestrial being out there. I did not. And saw a UFO with my girlfriends. It was so cool. Okay, go ahead. See, there you have it. Yeah. And just simply having the awareness and being accepting of possibilities of other races being around opens you up to potentially having an encounter. And most important, there are a lot of people that have contracts. Eric is over here with his long paper and, you know, showing the good old contracts that you come out here with. Some of them are just things that you have to experience. What about Raylene? Has she ever been on the mothership? Has she does she have anything to do with extraterrestrials? Any contracts? Yes. I feel felt like that. Tell us about that, Adrian, please. Uh he's talking about the contract is about bringing awareness and um, comfort. Right. Interesting. Good. We need that. So we hear so many different statements regarding alien agendas and what they're here for. And some say they're nefarious. Others say they're benevolent. What exactly is the story, Adrian? And how do we know who to trust when we encounter a UFO or an alien being? He's he's saying that it's it's like humans. There could be a really good human and there could be a really yeah. bad human. You yeah. don't ever really know which one is good and which one is bad. He says you can tell by reading energy, by using your intuition, by going with the gut feeling. Mm -hmm. And something that you can do to prevent yourself from having a encounter with a negative entity is simply asking the positive beings around you to prevent negative beings from being attached to you or coming to you, um, being aware. Okay. So if you see one, he says, I don't feel so good in my stomach. Says, what do you do? Run, boys, run. Just, well, they can probably catch it with you. That's but, what he's saying. He's like, running isn't really going to help you much. And we'll be here. Around like, yourself. I, I want to say that. I have positive things. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, what? Okay. Go ahead. Standing Sorry. strong. He says, standing strong and standing your ground and telling it to leave you alone and um, holding your ground. That's what you can do instead of running. Okay. It's like bears. You run away from a bear. They'll chase you. Absolutely. Uh, you just lay down and play dead. Okay, are they <laughs> why are okay? Some of the reasons that people think they might be here are they here for the solar flash or to stop the well, let's do one at a time. There are three of them. This person's asking, and by the way, kudos to you guys who are submitting these questions because they are always oh, so amazing. You guys are brilliant. I love you. All right, go ahead. Um, are they here for the solar flash for, for one? Yeah, why? Protecting. Protecting the earth, humans? Yes. Yeah. The earth yeah. and humans. There are some that do have, um, they have, they want good for humans. They have feelings, they have emotions connected to humans. And so there are some that do benefit humans. So yes, to protect both human and earth and also place, He's talking about the direction, being able to move the energy of it, place it into oh. the direction. Oh, and so okay. he's going into how he, how they do protection. Okay. What about to stop the progression of artificial intelligence? Is that one of the reasons you, you guys sometimes visit? Some of them, yes. What do you think about AI? Is it going to... And, Eventually mean the extinction of humans? 
No. Um, it is going to cause damage to finances for humans yeah. and if he's showing like our food um even the water system it's going to bring good and it's going to bring bad there's going to have to be things that will be worked out within the, yeah. the system um it is something that they don't want to stop completely but there is like a time frame of allowing us to have so much of it by a certain time frame. Um, Do they got not, enough rope to hang ourselves, <laughs> eh? Elisa. <laughs> so, but, but they're protecting us, right? Yeah. Okay, what about, are they here for depopulation? Oof. Like the Georgia Guidestones? <laughs> that? Oh. Some of them are, um, but it's not necessarily for reasons of helping our planet. It's more um, for them, and it's not connected to our population, but there's okay. increasing. Oh. Okay. Is our government working with any aliens regarding, I am keep checking my phone because, you know, Michelle's, my Michelle about to have her baby any day now, so I don't know what to say. Is our government working with any aliens regarding the advancement of our technology? Yes. Has been for yeah. centuries. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I believe that. Anything, any elaboration? He's shouting out cell phones, computers, airplanes. Mm. Okay. Fuel, uh, energy, um, types of energy? Some types of energy, yes, but not most. He's he's saying that humans are really smart and um, because they found certain energy, like electricity with the sun, mm -hmm. um, coal, yeah. that, that brought the interest of having other beings help this, this race to evolve. Okay. Interesting. All right. Can aliens, oh wait, does the government have an agreement of sort with aliens? I mean, I'm sure it's not just the U.S. government, right? I mean, other governments too, right? Or not? Yeah. Yes. Um, and both good and bad, there's, there's um, nuclear stuff that's being created. Okay. And it's not all humanized. A lot of it's coming from, um, extraterrestrial okay nuclear weapons nuclear energy or something both. else both okay are the good guys working on that or the bad guys or both he's saying that oh great well you get adrian you can connect us can aliens change to appear human to us some of them yes okay ship shifting ship shifting Shape shifting. <laughs> that fifteen times real fast. That's not easy. <laughs> He's so funny. He's laughing. Okay. Um. What about this new granddaughter of mine that's about to be born? Does she have any alien extraterrestrial roots? I don't know why. No. Yeah, she does. She's going to have several of them. She's not the only one. You have a granddaughter that's. Here right now that has roots connected to extraterrestrial. She's sensitive. She's open. Um, Is it uh, one of my eldest uh, daughter or my uh, second eldest daughters? Eldest. The eldest. Okay. The, uh, she's got a six-year-old and a two-year-old. Six-year-old. Oh, interesting. Yeah, she's very special. Uh, all right. Is the elite going to take an alien invasion as a pretext to create? A one world government. No. Why? They probably want to. Are you going to prevent it? They don't have the control to do that. Uh, yes, they do want to do it, but it's not. It's not something that's going to be experienced. Okay. All right. A lost, we talked about this, a Las Vegas family claimed that they had aliens in the backyard after a shockwave of energy 
and they were about 10 feet tall. I heard they were eight feet tall. They saw two. One had a broken leg, and then they claimed they were on their roof or heard them on the roof. The police were called. Come page. Need to hire a page turner. I'm that lazy. I believe the police believed it was true because one of the co their colleagues saw the spaceship or something falling from the sky minutes before they got the 911 call. And it's all on body cam. So the question is about this. What alien race or species were those? Pleiadians, Orions? I think we did we ask this. Anyway. They're tall whites. Um, yeah. He's not identifying with Palladian directly, but a very similar race. Um, okay. Orion? That's the name. People from Orion? Because they're asking about this. No, it's not Orion either. This They're very closely related to Palladians. Okay, I, I get the names mixed up. The family said police came back the next day to follow up on the investigation, but police claimed it was not them. Who was it? Secret Service? FBI? Some unknown special forces? Who claimed they were the police coming back to follow up on the story? With this family. Unknown special service. Oh, like men in black type stuff? Yeah, it's cover up. Was there a purpose for the crash or visit? Accidental. Accidental. What were they flying around? Just to... Just like the tall grays, just like looking. No, they're tall whites. So they wouldn't. No, these ones were uh, nice. They had positive. They had positive intentions with Earth and people. Um, he's explaining, like just going for a drive, visiting. Okay. okay. Will they do anything about the evil elite? And then we're going to stop and start, uh, and we will film part two. Yes, they will. Oh, what? He's saying that there will be rules that are going to be implemented that will have to be followed, mm -hmm. not from humans, but from extraterrestrial that have power over decisions that are being made for the Earth and for people. Mm -hmm. um, there is a very powerful race that protects against that. Uh, Wars, nuclear damage, things like that. He's talking about um, a war that we've already experienced, World War II, where there was a they There was an intervention that took place during that war. Really? So it could have been worse. Absolutely. Oh my god! All right, we'll stop there on that happy note. Well, that was a happy note, actually. And thank you, guys. You guys be sure to check out Raylene in the description box. And also share, subscribe, like, all that jazz. All right. I love you, Eric. I love you, Raylene. I love you all out there. Thank you. Eric says he loves you. And bye.